Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign and today we're back in Infinite Lagrange. Now I've been getting a lot of questions in my DMs regarding if you can actually play this game as a solo player and I've completely been playing as a solo player in season two. There hasn't really been much going on on the front. I wanted to see if it was actually able to be done and what you can actually do and what limits you have in the actual game when you only play alone. The game is 100% designed to be worked on as a union. It's definitely not something that is built around the more solo type player. Now, there are some things you can do, which I have been currently doing, and that's annoying and destroying a lot of the larger unions and just being a general nuisance all around. Now, I know it's a bit of an asshole thing to do, but there's really nothing else you can do. You could start up your own union and start trying to take cities, but you have to be sort of way higher level. You have to have really leveled up ships. You have to have a lot of tech points in your ships to be able to solo tank but then if you do take them you've got still got loads of unions even if they have five or six players seven players more than that than you you can't really hold control of each of the cities you do take so you can't really do any of the end game stuff unless you're just happy and content with flying around jumping from outpost to outpost just zeroing people i mean you don't get anything from it apart from some sort of ego boost an ep stroke but it is definitely a viable form of play if that's what you want to do now if you just want to go around you want to mine your stuff you want to build your points up to the maximum amount you want to level up your ships etc then you can just do that if you want to pve farm play a bit of farmville you can do that in this game as well eventually you're going to get attacked unless you move around quite a lot like right now i'm currently in the middle of the second largest union on this server so i probably will will need to move soon as I've been annoying a few of their players. So they've all started to move around me. They've all set up shop. So I'm probably going to need to bounce soon when they all try to zero me at the same time. Now, as I said earlier, this game is designed for more union style play. I haven't done too much of the actual opening up at the moment. We have the system going on over here. I've been jumping through between like region four and region five region six and just annoying people up and down the whole like sort of that side of the map i haven't done anything on the outer regions yet and i haven't moved in to the center regions now i will be doing a video which has been asked which i've been asked to do by certain viewers in the comments about the differences between season one map and the season two map so that will be coming soon i will be trying to do at least two videos a week for infinite lagrange but i will be playing some of the new world beta that's opening up today i probably won't make any content on it mainly because i want to actually enjoy it and making content for a game over and over again can take the fun out of the game a little bit but i will try to get two videos out a week for this game I am enjoying it a lot more now I'm not in leadership of a union. Less stress, less bullshit, less of none of that politics stuff. But now we're sort of getting to the end part of this server because we're already jumping through. I mean, we've only been open a couple of weeks and we're already almost done with capturing all level five cities. And then we're going to jump through. I may, for the end of the game, join a union and start helping to attack a few people because there's not really much you can do at the end apart from still just run around annoying people. And I'm sure eventually that's going to get boring for me. So I'm likely going to be joining up with a union. I get messages pretty much every day asking me to join different unions. There aren't many English speaking unions on these servers. Everyone is basically Russian and German for the first four servers, which were open up only to really the European players. And there aren't that many English speaking people on there. So it's been a bit of a rough one. Now I was hoping to be able to actually transfer over to the server that my friends are on, but I was unable to do that. I did ask the devs if it was possible, but it is not possible for you to move over. I would have to get everything wiped. So I might as well start again, which I'm not really interested in doing. So I'm going to keep going and see what happens. Maybe something will pop up in the next season three because we do have a lot of stuff coming up i will do a video on the hubs that are going to be coming in the actual system hubs which is a very interesting mechanic and we'll go over what that is and this is a level eight one i don't know how well we're going to be doing against this one we do have our guardians i do have a set of tundras and we're using casses at the moment so we're going to see how that goes just have that in the background see what happens this is a level eight armed privateer fleet we've already knocked out one ship but it's only the smaller one but yeah if you want to play as a solo player in infinite lagrange it can be done you won't get the most out of the game it's not what the game designed for but you can still have fun nonetheless i have been but i couldn't see myself playing as a solo player through loads of seasons it's gonna get boring real quick as i said i'm gonna find a union and i'll jump in with that union for the next season and we'll see how it goes from there as long as you keep moving around and not staying in the same spot so people can spot where you are and they see that you have no union they're just going to attack you especially if you're surrounded by people in 
larger unions and if you are annoying people eventually they're going to team up and get you so you have to have an outpost ready always have an outpost ready secondary outpost to be able to jump your station to it before you start attacking people when you move to an area make sure that you have a outpost set up in another region so you can jump from one to the other if you do want to play this way now i do have a lot of content lined up for infinite lagrange i have a little sort of roadmap of what content i'm going to be bringing out i'm going to be doing guides on what tech points you should have for different kinds of ships what ships you should use what fleet makeups you should use which are the best sort of tank fleets, what you can use with them, which are the best DPS fleets, etc., etc. So make sure to like and sub if you would like to see those videos. They will be coming very soon. Now, I wasn't too sure if Infinite Lagrange was going to be a game that I was going to be playing in the long term. It's definitely going to be something I'm going to be playing on the side. So they have a very decent roadmap on the way with a lot of good changes. Now we can just hope that they're going to be sort of fixing the pathfinding and doing all that sort of stuff there. Hopefully there's something that they can sort out pretty quickly. Right, and that's all we have for today. Just a really quick quick ones give you guys an update make sure to like and sub if you haven't already this is your one-stop shop for mobile gaming and rpg content fly safe and avoid local chat scams